Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Kind of like last minute, I decided to go with my mom today to Trader Joe's. Um, a new one opened up around us, which I'm so happy about because the closest one before that um, was like 45 minutes away. I mean, it's still kind of far, but it's not as far as uh, the other one. So we are gonna go there today. I'm gonna be leaving here at 10. It's like 8. 45 right now so I'm gonna start getting ready um, but I want to show you a hair product that I've been using recently that's like amazing and has made my hair so awesome so I've been using this air dry cream from the brand Kristen S um, you can get this at Target first of all the packaging is beautiful I love this like creamy white with this light gray label here. Oh, it's just so pretty. It is an air dry cream and it is meant for all hair types. It's supposed to smooth your frizz. Um, it's supposed to be time saving. It's supposed to help with shine and soften your hair, um, which I have noticed with this, it softens my hair so much. It's My hair is crazy soft after using this. And I take about a quarter size, about that much. I make sure to Distribute it evenly in my hair, starting at the ends and working my way up. When my hair dries, that's when you start to see um, how it looks and kind of what it's done to your hair because it takes your natural, this is how I feel, it takes your natural um, hair pattern and just makes it look a bit better. Um, makes it look like you did something to it even though you didn't. So my makeup is done. Um, let me just show you my outfit really fast. So I'm wearing this sweater from Gap. It's just like a knit kind of balloon sleeve sweater. And then my jeans are from Zara. They are kind of like a wide leg. And then um, these booties, which are from Target. Alright, so I just got back from Trader Joe's. I did not vlog much. I think I did like one or two clips in Trader Joe's. But I have my groceries here. I'll do a little Trader Joe's haul. Are these bags not the cutest things ever? They're Christmas themed and they have like little snowflakes on them. And I love the red and white stripes. But let me show you what I got because I got some yummy things. There are some like random groceries in here that are not very exciting, like ham, not exciting. I got lemons. I am a huge goat cheese fan, so I got goat cheese and sundry tomato ravioli. Crumpets are the best. I love the packaging on this, it's so cute. I've had these a few times before. They are the broccoli and cheddar um, quiches. They're like mini quiches you put in the oven. They're delicious. I got mochi or mochi. I got a green tea one. I love green tea. And I got this one for Tommy, high tea. He had this at my parents' house the other night and he was like, you need to get these. First bag, done. I then got um, spicy tea latte mix. I love the matcha one of this, it's so good but I wanted something a little bit more festive, so I got the chai, and I got these delicious turkey corn dogs. I love these so much. They're delicious. I got um, organic green tea lemonade drink. I also picked up some tartar sauce. Second bag, done. I love these snacks. They are the white cheddar corn puffs. I got these hickory barbecue potato chips. I got these vegetable and, no. They're like dumpling things and they're really good. Oh, I got these because they look so festive. They are the Scandinavian Tidings. They're so cute. I just love the packaging. The last thing I got was some cheese because we have absolutely no cheese in our fridge right now and cheese is like my all time favorite snack. But that is my whole Trader Joe's haul. I do wanna try this chai and then put all of these groceries away. So my original plan today was to go to Michael's and get some of my art framed. Um, but because it was kind of last minute that I decided to go with my mom to Trader Joe's, I think it might be a little too late. I might be a little too tired. 
I want to show you my art though because my mom just recently showed me my old art book that I forgot I had. And that's why I was going to go to Michael's as I was going to frame um, a painting that I'll show you in a second. Before we had renovated our house, our window was broken and they had some duct tape up. And I remember looking at it with one of my friends. I was like, that looks like a piece of art. And I thought to myself, how cool would it be if I painted it? So I painted it and it's actually very cool. It's this piece right here. I just love how this has like a lot of meaning behind it. I have this book here. This was my color theory class book, which was from last year. Then I have this one here, like literally pieces are falling out. This was from a freshman year of high school. This folder is also from last year's college class. So I know I'm kind of like cut off a bit, but I just wanted to angle it so that you could see the art um, when I'm holding it up a bit better. Some of these in here aren't like frameable. Like I would never frame this one here, but I just think that it is special to me because I love Disney. This is like an old fashioned vehicle. Um, it actually has my signature on the back. I was very proud when I did this piece of art. This is just a random lady. I do love this one. I would never frame this. I was very proud of this one too. There's just like a lot of detail in it and I loved how I like faded the savannah into the sky in the back. This one, what? I'm not even gonna, no. This is an old telephone. I love this one too. It's Again, like the same kind of tones, those very like neutral tones. This one I did a couple years ago. I don't even know why I did it. I think mainly because I wanted to impress Tommy when we were talking and I just remember him loving it. So I was very happy about that. Just like a couple standing under an umbrella. And I was very proud of this lamppost, the way that it kind of has like a hazy light effect. I have a lot of art, so I'll maybe just show you the ones that I'm like somewhat proud of. Basically, a lot of these, well, they should have names on the back and what they are. I guess I didn't title this, but they're more like, again, modern art. There's this one, I have them like all taped in here. This one is crazy. This one here, I love the gradient effect that this one has. It goes from like a green all the way to yellow. I think this was a value scale. Color intensity, that's what it was called. It was the color intensity scale. Here is also the same. This one was the color scale. I don't know, this one I just thought was kind of cool. I don't know if it's something that I would frame or want to frame. So I have this one, which is kind of like a simple, minimalist looking piece of art, which I don't know if I like. Like, I don't know if this is me. This one I just did on a whim. It was like super fast. Random little twig. I have this one here which I do like. I like the green and the brown mixed together. Then I have this one here which I would never frame. I really don't know what this was supposed to be but it's very very modern looking. It's supposed to look like it's shaking almost. Yeah, Vibrating Borders. That's the name of this art piece. My mom, I believe, loves this one and says that I should hang it. She loves this one, which I do love as well, and I think it's very cool. It's supposed to look like this yellow line here starts behind the red um, lines and then kind of comes out on top of them, but like a transparent look. Guys, my camera is dying. I have to charge it right now, so I'm gonna have to I think film this on my phone. So I'm not actually filming my phone. I'm still filming on my camera, but I'm charging it while I'm filming it. So we had to move locations. There are some pieces in here that I'm literally just skipping through because I am so embarrassed by them. Like I'm literally, I hated the assignment we had to do. And so I'm not gonna show you if I'm like, not proud of it. The sun is like coming right onto my face. I'm not even kidding you when I say we had to do weird art. I have this one here, which was also a Seasons painting. Um, it's a, ugh. This one was Winter, which I think this is kind of cool. It fades from blue into a gray. This one is pretty cool too. This is the same color in the middle here, just in the middle of two different backgrounds. So the colors in the middle look different, but they're really not. They're just a basic color rail, which is actually really cool. I love like how textured the paint looks. Again, the same kind of art where the color is the same in the middle, but you just put it 
um, next to different colors and they look different. And then the last ones I have here are just kind of like random projects we had to do where, I mean, I would never frame that. That's like, I would never frame that. I'm not gonna show you those because they're kind of boring. So that is all of the arts. Um, there is a lot and there was a couple that I just didn't show because embarrassing. Now I think I'm going to kind of put together all of my favorite pieces and kind of decide which ones I want to get framed. Okay, so these are all the ones that I'm deciding between. I don't know. 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 All right, so I'm probably just going to end the vlog here, guys. I do have to finish editing some things, editing some videos, and then start on dinner, which I have no idea what I'm making, but I have to figure that out soon clean up all of my art. It's literally all just a mess on the floor over there. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it was a little bit scattered, but make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!